Hey guys, welcome to Minneapolis. Spring has sprung. Uh, we're here on a little rainy day, but we are super excited because our clients are not hesitating in the rain. They got a new sauna in the backyard. So we wanna give you a little bit of a tour of this smaller sauna from us. Uh, this is the architect's dream, the future of sauna building. This is the CLT sauna clad in Shishugiban burnt wood siding. Let's go. So you guys, this one we're super, super proud of. This, uh, in this little Minneapolis neighborhood, and we had a big design challenge to solve. If you've been following us, you've maybe seen some of our big spaces. We've brought them up hills. We've lifted them over homes to look at Lake Superior. And we are always finding creative ways to solve the challenge of how do we get the sauna to your house? How do we get you enjoying it? How do we add this to your wellness experience and ritual and practice in your daily life? Uh, these clients in Minneapolis, unique challenge of small lot. And so we did a modular built sauna. So we prefabbed some of our wall structure in Duluth and then brought this down here and then assembled it in just three days with our team. So uh, today's a little bit of a tour of a couple new things. One is that modular setup. So you're gonna learn about what a CLT panel is, uh, cross laminated timber. All you architects are gonna geek out with me about that one. And we're gonna talk a little bit about siding and cladding. Uh, this is a thermally modified wood. And then on the other side, it is charred and burnt so that this, it has this beautiful weathered look, but will last and stay black for years and years to come. We got a lot to talk about today. Um, let's do a little tour of this four person sauna and then uh, we'll, we'll meet you in there. We'll talk more about it while we're in. Ready? Let's go. Isn't she pretty? We're super excited about this one. Uh, let's, let's get into the sort of construction of this. Let's get into the details of this. Um, and I'm gonna work sort of structure first uh, and then talk a little bit about the guts and the heart and then the siding. So uh, thing one is this structure was built out of CLT panels. Uh, CLT panels are cross laminated timber. So this whole wall side here is a structural panel of thick five inches thick of wood. And what that does is that creates a building envelope a lot like a log sauna or a timber frame sauna, which if you're in the aficionados of what makes a great sauna, some of those are just like the most revered. The old log sauna that's been there for a hundred years, like at Camp du Nord up on Burnt Side Lake in Ely, Minnesota, right? That one's been a hundred years of beautiful craftsmanship that has lasted and the heat feels different because the whole room, what happens with the logs and the timber is they actually capture some of the heat and they emanate it back to you. So you walk into the room and rather than one focal point of heat, oh, I know the heat's coming on this shoulder, you feel like you're in this envelope of heat from every spot in the room. And so we built this using sort of the modern day equivalent to log. The modern day equivalent to that is these CLT panels. In Europe, they're huge right now. Architects, you know that these are the things that are in some ways looking like they could be one of the future ways people really are building small and big structures. And so we, we made these panels, we assembled it. We're using woods that are carbon sequestering. Uh, they're structural. We're not having to build with a whole bunch of other things. And it allows us to get in really unique spaces like this one. Even on a rainy day in a backyard in Minneapolis, they have an amazing sauna to be here. So CLT panels, um, here's a little more geekery on that as we were building and me talking about the panel, showing you some of the panels from the inside out. Ready, go. So here we are, you're looking at our small sample. You'll see the big one in just a little bit here. Cross laminated timber uses wood in a crossing pattern. So this would be similar to what you see in a whole bunch of different uh, applications. Now we're using it for a full wall panel. So here's a sample of this wall panel. We got a cut out here. This was for our door. 
but you'll see here our cedar interior and then we have pine that's going vertically and then you see pine end grain so that's coming horizontally another vertical pine and then another horizontal so this is sandwiched a layer of five different boards solid wood structural wood so there's a little little tidbit on clt tell us in the comments if you knew about that and what questions you have about it all right let's go and you're back so now let's talk a little bit about the heart of the sauna uh, and that is always the stove so here we have one of our home stoves uh, imported from estonia we love these absolutely love these uh, for a number of different reasons one they're beautiful i mean this is a sort of the focal point of the whole sauna experience is this centerpiece of this drop home stove so this one's electric there's coils and elements in here that heat up the stone and stone is the key in a good sauna stove, what you need or should be looking at, one of the things that produces good quality heat is the amount of rock mass or thermal mass that you can get on the stove. In wood-fired stoves, often, that's always way more than electric stoves. Sometimes people have these little toaster ovens on the side of the wall that have 12 rocks on the top. And in my opinion, what tends to happen then is you feel most of the heat from the elements, not from the rocks. That heat feels sharp. Uh, harsh. It feels a little like a slap on the face or sunburn. When you get a lot of rock mass and stone, that heat emanates slowly into the room and it's the kind of heat that gets deep into your bones. There is just this robust sort of feel and softness to it that is so much better. And whom, from what I can tell, whom has done it just about the best in the world around creating the stove around the rocks and thermal mass first rather than creating a stove and adding the rocks on top. So that we love about it, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Um, and the clients wanted this one to connect to Wi-Fi so they can pull out their iPhone when they're on their way home or they're on a bike ride or they're here in Minneapolis skiing the loops and trails and they're gonna know, hey, I wanna, I wanna go warm up and enjoy it after the fact. They can do that from anywhere in the world, it's just amazing. But the sauna stove is really the heart of it. The heat, this is the heart and here's the skeleton and the structure. Now let me tell you about the outside again. So uh, as we said before, this is in burnish clad uh, arbor wood. So it's a thermally treated wood, thermally modified wood. What they do with that is they take any kind of wood species, they modify it in these kilns, bring it really high up in heat and moisture content. And what it does is it bakes out and changes the components of the wood so it can live outside for much longer. Um, if you want to geek out a lot more about this, here, listen to my conversation with John Hyacin from Arborwood Co. Right up here, or maybe here. Let's see, it's probably going to be here, right there. Uh, go find that video from John and I as we talk about how to thermally modify wood, why it's great, and all the details. For this one, we used it as a siding and we used their burnish, which is their Shushugi Bon uh, Asian Japanese inspired charred wood exterior. So not only is it this thermally modified wood that's gonna last a long time as an exterior siding product, it also has this beautiful, beautiful sort of textural look to it of this burnt wood, which is a fun contrast with the sauna. The sauna is super bright and light in here with all this nice cedar wood on the interior. And then immediately you go, you go outside and you flip and you see how dark it is. And heat is so much a elemental thing in sauna that that sort of design choice that the client said, oh, they saw that arbor wood and they said, yep, that's the one. And so we've loved using that. We think it's really beautiful. We're super proud of it. So thanks arbor wood. We love working with you guys. Yeah, so thing one, structure. Thing two, the heart of it. Thing three, looking at the siding and all the details and, and four is really those little tiny details of we're just super proud of this one coming together and fine tuning and crafting it for this family. And it was really about size and we wanted a size to fit four people and we wanted to take the little tiny nuances and elements that they loved and said, hey, let's, let's work on that well together. Let's, let's find design choices, let's bevel the edges, let's go into detail and let's really get it great for you. So we're proud of that. Thanks for touring with me, this, this amazing little enjoyable space that we've put in this backyard. Um, we're super proud of it. And you know we think that there might be more coming of this modular style, of this using new technologies and using technologies that are more sustainable like arbor wood, like great quality stoves. 
So if you're interested in that, follow along. We, we love getting to work with folks and getting to teach them about how to integrate this wellness practice into their life. And this is just one example of that. Uh, super big thanks to Arborwood, to whom, uh, and to our team for working their butts off, making this thing happen. And thanks again to our clients here in Minneapolis who said yes, and we got to build this dream for them. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day. See you on the next one.